Your keyword worksheet is a fundamental document in the SEO process. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a keyword worksheet in Excel using a couple examples like the insurance industry or a fictional pizza restaurant in my hometown, Tulsa, Oklahoma. So in this video, keyword worksheet, let's get started. Welcome back. We're going to learn how to build a keyword worksheet. Uh, this is, I think, one of the most important things uh, that you need to do for your SEO project. It is also, I think, one of the more challenging uh, tools or, or tricks that you do when you work on SEO. So I'm going to do my best to explain it. Don't hesitate. If you have any questions, you can put them in the YouTube channel or if you have uh, if you're taking our classes, send me an email. I'm happy to help. It is a little bit challenging. So first of all, the code for the class materials uh, is in the YouTube description or it's 2999-D as in dog. Let me get that in there and just show you that that's going to work for us. Um, we're going to go and basically we're going to look at an Excel. That's really all that's there. So we're going to talk about our keyword worksheet and let's sort of use some sample companies. So I want to sort of reverse engineer some companies. So let's take our progressive uh, in our online classes. Of course, I always focus on progressive, very, very well done uh, SEO friendly websites. So I want to sort of look at how a keyword worksheet would be built for them and then I'll look at a couple other examples. So I've got a link here to a sample keyword worksheet. I'm going to click on that link. That's going to open that link in Excel. And then let me look at that link once that opens. It's a little funky. You've got to go over here on the tabs to the dashboard. So over here on the left, click on the tabs at the bottom and go to the dashboard on the far left of it. So this is a little worksheet that you can fill out for your company uh, as your own keyword uh, worksheet. So what you do here is you'd put in, I'm just going to try to find it for me. Um, you're going to go over here and you're going to put in, you know, progressive.com, progressive.com. And you're going to fill this out. I usually put my updated date. And let's talk about these core search paths here on the left. So I'm assuming that you've done your keyword uh, work. You've sort of got a, a rough list of all your keywords. You've looked at volume. You've looked at values. You've sort of thought that through. So let's just sort of look over here at Progressive. And let's think about their main businesses, their main keyword patterns. So obviously, they're what I call their 800-pound gorilla keyword is insurance. They have helper words like quotes, rates, online, so get car insurance online, get a car insurance quote online, etc. You can see the pages uh, reflect that very well. And then they have their core business areas, auto, motorcycle, commercial, homeowners, boats. Okay, now let's click on this more guy here and you'll see somebody has thought through in a very systematic way the types of insurance they sell and they've created very specific landing pages for that type of insurance. So back on their keyword worksheet, I would say path number one, you would put in sort of auto insurance, right? That's a path. And then maybe path number two would be motorcycle insurance. So these are the big paths. And you can see that somebody could do a search for uh, car insurance online, rates for car insurance, auto insurance online. So auto insurance as a search path is the core keyword that the person is going to put in. And then we're assuming there's all the little variations that go on here. So your main paths are going to be those main product areas. Now your branded path is referring to your company name. So the branded path is when somebody goes to Google and they put in your company name, Progressive Insurance, right? You want to make sure that you show for your brand name or your product names. And that's a very important search. When somebody does a search for JM Internet Group, I want to show up at the top of that search and I want to look cool and have that. So that branded path is a really important search. So for them, it might be Progressive or Progressive Insurance, something like that. Insurance. And this has got a little misspelling. It's esoterica. I should have an O in there. Esoterica. So you're going to learn a little bit of uh, word games here. Esoterica is 
often your long tail searches, it's your blog, it's things like that. In an insurance environment, it might be something like, how does Obamacare impact health insurance? Or uh, California is starting to say it's going to allow insurance for um, illegal aliens. So those sorts of blog types of things are often good, and I put those in your esoteric. So this could be like, you know, Obamacare and insurance, or getting insurance, you know, for a high-risk driver. Right, so these are not primary searches. They're all the little odds and ends that are really, really suitable for your blogs. So over here on the left, your main paths are usually your product areas, usually a branded path, usually what I call esoterica. Now your helpers, this is where you'd put your helpers. So common helper, auto insurance, California, auto insurance, you know, uh, Florida. So I'm gonna move these down. So for progressive, you might put in here, California, you know, uh, Florida. How do people search? Another, uh, you know, common helper, you know, geographic would be your states or maybe your cities. People might put, you know, Los Angeles car insurance, something like that. Those are relevant helper words. Common helper words, best top top rated. We don't look on the internet and search for the worst uh, knee surgeon. We search for the best knee surgeon. We don't look for the worst uh, motorcycle insurance. We look for Beth best. So for them, it might be best, top, top rated, free isn't really relevant, possibly cheap. People look for cheap auto insurance, uh, rates, quotes. These are sort of where you put those high level helpers and think about it like a word game. So auto insurance, California, cheap auto insurance, California, top rated California motorcycle insurance. This dashboard is your high level search patterns that you're going to build out. Okay, so then once you establish sort of your high levels, then down here on the tabs, I would change the tab and I would call this tab auto insurance. So this would be your tabs at the bottom become the primary search patterns. So here for auto insurance, for our core keyword, I'm going to put auto insurance. I'm going to put car insurance because we know that's a synonym, car insurance, and then I might put like automobile insurance. And then usually I'll copy paste my helpers from the dashboard, so I'm going to copy that, I'm going to put that here, and then I'm going to, I'm going to look my volumes up. Now in the materials for the class, I have links to the Keyword Planner, I have links to the Global Market Finder, this is a very slick little tool. You can put in here car insurance and you can get your volumes and your uh, data from the tool. Let that load there. Go over here to United States. You're going to find USA. Where is USA? Way down here. It's not alphabetical. Click English. Click show additional suggested keywords. And then you can see here car insurance, cheap, classic, cheapest, calculator, free. You look at all these ideas. Car insurance company. Those are going to be, I'm going to assume again that you've worked these out. So you might put, you know, company, you know, uh, best, this type of thing. Then you're going to put some representative search queries and you might put in here auto insurance quotes, car insurance quote online. So fill out some representative. Now this could go on and on and on and on and on. So I would say maybe 15, something like that. Car insurance, so you can imagine a, a logical search, top rated car insurance companies, right? So this guy here builds out your targets. Now, going forward, when you're med med ready to measure, you can measure your rank, where you are at the beginning, where you are as you work on your SEO. So in a keyword worksheet, this tab, this little mini dashboard is organizing the information around the keyword. Now let's look at the progressive website, progressive.com, and you can see sort of reverse engineer this, back engineer this, they have a landing page on car insurance and they have things like reviews, discounts, the uh, rates, coverages. They've thought through all of the related keywords. So somewhere in the background, they have a keyword worksheet. They have some sort of guidance that tells their team, hey, when you're writing our pages on auto insurance, start with the anchor landing page that corresponds to the tab, and then look through all your helpers and write out 
all the special pages um, that are relevant uh, to that uh, car insurance search, okay? So that's an example using progressives. Let me close out of this. And let's look at a different example. Uh, so let's look at this example here. Let's talk about a fictional pizza restaurant in Tulsa, Oklahoma. So let's think about how you'd build a keyword worksheet for some fictional uh, pizza restaurant. So I grew up in Tulsa, Oklahoma. So what are we trying to get to the top of, right? So you always sort of start with that. You're going to have done your keyword research. You know that people are going to do these sorts of searches. Pizza Tulsa. Now think about your synonyms. Pizza, Italian food, Italian restaurant, catering, birthday parties, etc., etc., etc. So you're going to get that keyword worksheet. I'm going to open that up. So this is what you get from our website, sort of your, your, your plan. Let me see if it opened it here. Go to the far left to get to the dashboard. And let's say, you know, it's, it's going to be, you know, pizzatulsa.com, whatever, Jason's Pizza. What's the first path? Pizza, right? The short tail, pizza, pizza, Tulsa, uh, pizza restaurant, etc. What's another core path? Italian restaurant. That's a core path. And then what's another core path that people might, maybe you do catering. So it'd be catering and not necessarily Italian catering. Maybe it's catering for what? For weddings, for bar mitzvahs, for uh, corporate events, right? Catering plus some helper words. Your branded path would be the name of the restaurant, you know, uh, Jason's, you know, pizzeria or something. Your esoterica would be, you know, how to make the best calzone, right? Uh, what are the best catering joints in Tulsa, right? These are your esoterica, right? Your helpers are going to be your geographic. So it could be Tulsa, it could be Broken Arrow, it could be Jinx, it could be um, Sand Springs. Those are communities around Tulsa. Helpers are best, top rated, etc. Free isn't really relevant. Uh, it could be uh, kids, you know, best pizza for kids, etc. Build out that, look for your volumes, your values, your competitors. Then your keyword group here, you would rename this and you'd put in pizza. It's going to be sort of your short tail keyword pizza. And then what else would people possibly pizzeria, right? And then your helpers, Tulsa, Jinx, best, best rated, etc. You're going to break those out. So Tulsa pizza restaurants, right? Uh, these are where you build those guys out. You measure your rank as you get started and off you go. So your keyword worksheet starts with, let's sort of wrap this up, your core foundational search pass. Less is more here. I think most people end up with maybe five to six. Your core helpers. Geographics, if you do anything geographic, commonly your city names, possibly your state names, possibly your county names. Do your keyword research, see how people search. Common helpers, best, top, top rated, online free. People do best pizza. They don't search for worst pizza. They don't search for most horribly rated pizza. They search for top rated pizza joints, something like that. Your other helpers, company, restaurant, joint, uh, whatever, you know, would be relevant. Pizza joint, pizza restaurant, pizza ria, that type of thing. Make sure you think about your branded search path. Think about what I call your esoterica path. Those are logically blog posts news releases, that type of thing. Put your competitors, make some samples, start to measure your volumes and your values. At the bottom, build out your tabs for uh, each individual search group based on a tab. I generally would measure your short tails here too. That would be like, in this case, pizza or Italian restaurant because we know when people go and do a search for Google on just the short tail pizza, it localizes this. We're obviously set to New York City here. We can change that to Tulsa. Tulsa, living on Tulsa time. Tulsa, Oklahoma, I love Tulsa. Uh, pizza, and you can see what's reviewed. So the short tails can go here and you measure your rank for short tails. Then here you put your longer tail searches, Tulsa Pizza, Tulsa Pizzeria, best Tulsa Pizza joint for kids, uh, best uh, birthday place for kids, etc. So then at the end of this, you've got a nice keyword worksheet. You're ready to then orient your entire project. Start with the end in mind. Look at a website like Progressive. Very good website. Very well done. Notice how it structurally follows the logic of a keyword worksheet 
home page is sort of like the dashboard down to landing pages landing pages have sub pages that's like our esoterica car insurance for teens it could be a sub page could be a blog post and at the end of the day you will have used your keyword worksheet uh, to really orient uh, what you're doing so that my dear friends is how to build a keyword worksheet uh, go to our website we've got all the information there click on the youtube description uh, if you're taking the class you can send me a question by email if not uh, i also answer by email or through the youtube channel uh, we try to update those every week please subscribe to our channel thank you so much for watching